It's not his fault the kid's not passing the test. They need to pay attention more, and the teachers need to do their job. Okay, so if y'all don't know, LeBron has been getting some backlash because the kids at his school aren't doing so well when it comes to academics, and it says the eighth graders are failing state math exams. And they said they've been failing them since 2020. Now, Steven Jackson today is backing up LeBron. Let's see what he has to say. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Thanks, man. One, what we're not going to do is blame LeBron for kids not passing the test, right? That's not LeBron's fault. I wish all athletes were selfless and cared about their communities and started schools and opened schools in their communities. More kids would be smarter. We'll have more doctors, more lawyers. You know what I'm saying? More people that's doing other things besides music and sports. So I salute LeBron. It's not his fault the kid's not passing the test. They need to pay attention more, and the teachers need to do their job. This is not LeBron's fault. Y'all need to stop it. Shout out to King James, man. Keep doing your thing. Two, conversations are underrated. I just had a breakfast meeting with one of the smartest people I know, right? And it was so beneficial. And all we did was have breakfast and had a conversation, right? But a conversation can turn into millions of dollars. A conversation can turn into a relationship that can get you millions of dollars. All right, so wise words from Steven Jackson as usual. And look, let's start with LeBron. It's not his fault if the kids aren't excelling in a situation where they have so many privileges that other schools just don't have. If you guys don't know, the I Promise School, which is basically LeBron's school, has so many free programs for these kids. I'm talking about transportation, uh, I think computers, laptops, uh, free scholarships being passed out. Everything they need to succeed, all they have to do is go to school and apply themselves. So if they're not doing that, that's not LeBron's fault. And to piggyback off Steven Jackson's last thing where he talked about a meeting and a conversation being able to lead you somewhere where it could be millions of dollars or a very big opportunity for you in your career. I always tell people, you never know. Who can give you advice to change your life? It could be a bum on the street. It could be your worst enemy. You never know who will give you that tear bit of information that will get you to the next level. So I want everybody out there, if you can, be more open-minded when you're dealing with people. Listen to them. They might not always have your best interests in mind or heart. But still, you never know what you can pick up from anybody on the planet, all right? Let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Please, uh, <laughs> peace.